In the history of America, there were towns in the United States called sundown towns. Now, those of you who are not from America that could be watching this video, um, a sundown town is basically a town full of uh, racist white supremacists, uh, male and female. And if you're a black person in that town at nightfall, then they will attack and take your life. You understand what I'm saying? So even in 2023, you still have sundown towns in America, but yet America will go to a lot of your countries and try to tell you about democracy and human rights, but yet they have sundown towns in America. Case in point, you have a brother that's going to detail some things that he experienced going in certain sundown towns. Just roll that. So in the video, you can see the lady talking about basically telling him you're in a sundown town you need to get the hell out of here right now. This has happened to me on multiple occasions. The verbiage is never gonna be specific. You just gotta listen to what white supremacists are saying. One time I'm in the 7076 uh, interchange, small town in Pennsylvania, hella trucks go through it every day, all day. I pull over to the side of this dirt road Ask this non-threatening white man who's walking, hey, which way do I go? And he looked so like a regular cool white person. But the way he talked to me, the verbiage that he used, let me know I was not welcome. He was just like, do you know where you at? You know, it's not too many of y'all that, uh, that look like you that's over here and just different little stuff and he got more not violent but the the uh more aggressive in his verbiage with every freaking word he was trying to let me know because he, he was like oh this ninja can't take hints and i couldn't he was telling me get your black out of here so y'all need to learn how to pay attention when white people are talking for verbal cues that don't make no sense. America can't tell no country about human rights because I always tell any person in any country, if they try to come wagging their finger at you about human rights on any level, their Achilles heel is black America. You tell them, well, you talking about human rights, you got sundown towns in America in 2023 where black people, they caught in that town, they're going to unalive them in 2023. What are you talking about? Look at what your police do to black people. That is, that is their Achilles heel. You can also tell them, look at what they dealt with with slavery and you still haven't even made that right. You didn't even pay reparations to black Americans. How you gonna come over here telling us about any kind of human rights and democracy? You have no human rights and democracy in your country. So go do human rights and show us how it's done first. Then you come over here and tell us and then we will listen to you. Uh, interchange, small town in Pennsylvania, Hella trucks go through it every day, all day. I pull over to the side of this dirt road, ask this non-threatening white man who's walking, hey, which way do I go? And he looked so like a regular cool white person. But the way he talked to me, the verbiage that he used, let me know I was not welcome. He was just like, do you know where you at? You know, it's not too many of y'all that uh that look like you that's over here. In this in this society in America, and the beautiful thing about the internet is that it's exposing everything in real time. And people all over the world can see this. And it's a beautiful thing. Sundown towns should not be in existence. But let me tell you really how black people got caught up in those sundown towns. So these brothers, you talking about are truck drivers or maybe a person get lost somewhere. People have went to gas stations and they try to warn you and let you know, say, Hey, you, you know where you at? They say, Oh, it's not a good place for you to be. You probably want to leave. So they'll try to warn you to get out of town. But if, but if you are caught, this is normally how they get you. The white supremacists are the police too. They, the police chief, they all the police. So what they'll do is the police will pull you over for nothing, literally, they pull you over and then they'll call their white supremacist friends 
and then they would, the police would take you somewhere and then they let their white supremacist friends and they go and get involved with it too. And then they're going to, you know, torture you and they're going to unalive you. That's what they're going to do. And they're going to get rid of your, your evidence in the car because they're the police. That's, that's what they do in these sundown towns. So then, you know, there's not no random clan to show up with, with, you know, no, uh, uh-uh, it's the police. That's, that's who is the clan, right? But my position on the sundown town thing is this. Most of these towns aren't economic hubs. They aren't thriving cities that you got to be there, right? I don't want to be in these sundown towns. I'm cool with being in the, in the, in the city I live in, the major cities, um, flying to the major cities I need to do uh, business in, etc. I don't need to be in these little hick towns. They could have them. I'm a firm believer of that. And if I was a black person, I had to be a truck driver and they say, Hey, that town over there, you need to be out by nightfall. I said, nah, I'm not delivering nothing to that town. Y'all, y'all can send somebody white over there and do that crap. But yes, in 2023, black people can't be in certain towns or something will happen to them. Now, is that legal? No, it's not legal. It's not legal on the state level. It's not legal on the federal level. It's not legal whatsoever, but it's not being prosecuted at all. The federal government isn't coming down and saying, Hey, we, we hearing this is a sundown town. You know, we about to do, we about to investigate everybody and see what kind of crimes or anything happened here. People come up missing and yes, they they're quit that mess. They're quit, but they're not going to do that. Cause always remember they all on code, no matter the Democrat or Republican, they all on code with each other. Understand that. And the only time they're going to do something unless we expose it to the public and now they're going to have to deal with it. It's like, for instance, George Floyd. If that young sister would have took that video, they, no, we wouldn't have known nothing about George Floyd. Nothing. So in the video, you can see the lady talking about basically telling him, you're in a sundown town. You need to get the hell out of here right now. This has happened to me on multiple occasions. The verbiage is never going to be specific. You just got to listen to what white supremacists are saying. That's why I'm a firm believer of black people filming. I'm a firm of black people reporting on it, putting it on social media, spreading it to many platforms, not just one, to many platforms, send the videos to every person you know that has a platform. I'm not just the one person, send it to everybody when something major happens. Because maybe one person can't get to it at that moment, but maybe somebody else can. But yes, it's no democracy and human rights for black people with sundown towns in America. But yeah, you want to go to Ghana and all these other places and tell them how to live, please. Let me know what y'all think about this, ladies and gentlemen, those of you throughout the world that maybe didn't even know about this that happens here to black people in America.